Hi everyone and welcome back to the contemporary world. This is still your professor, Mr. Trip Anthony E. Ramos, and for this session, we will be talking about the sustainable development. All right, so before we start, I am may I ask everyone first if how are you feeling today? So I hope that everyone's currently okay. So if you would want to share anything about your feeling, you may comment it down below. Okay, and then let me know if how are you feeling as of this moment. Okay, so as we start our discussion, let's first have a look into our learning objective. As we discuss about the sustainable development, it is imperative for us to dif differentiate stability from sustainability after this lesson. All right, so as of the moment, everyone, ano, talagang kapag papansinin mo ang iyong paligid, papansinin mo ang mga bagay-bagay sa iyong ano, no, kapaligiran, maraming nangyayari. No, marami maraming mga bagay ang nagbago, maraming mga bagay ang nandiyan pa rin. Ngunit may mga bagay nga na na nabagot hindi na napapakinabangan. So, ayan ano, so according to the International Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services or IPBS, no, 75% daw of the world's land area is already degraded, no? The quality of the, the land and all of the resources that we had before is hindi na siya ganun kaganda. Okay. And human activities have already contributed to the one degree Celsius warming as of 2017. So it is actually, I don't know, it is actually quite surreal for every one of us since it uh, we are actually moving closer to the two degree Celsius limit. So ang sabi kasi dyan, if we will be able to to reach that two degree Celsius limit, no, mas mas maging mainit daw ang ating ano no, ang ating mundo ng ng two degree Celsius definitely it will cause us massive damage no na kung saan hindi daw natin magugustuhan no ano yung mga events na to maaari magkaroon ng sobrang tagtuyot kagutuman and so on and so forth no and as of the moment the demand for energy as we know okay which is uh, actually often they are to, said to be unsustainable and unclean has already increased no due to the doubling of the human population hindi naman natin makakailan no? from our previous discussions we know that the population keeps on growing. Okay? So definitely, as the population grows, we know that the demand for every every resources are there. No? Talagang dumalaki siya, talagang dumadami ang pangailangan ng tao, mas marami as resources ang ating nakukonsumo. And it has been said that the fourfold growth of the global economy has been has been manifested and there, there is a tenfold increase in global trade. With that being said, mga kapatid, ano, you will notice that uh, it's quite alarming no? in, in some point that talaga mga bagay natin dito ay hindi na natin nasasustain. That we are not able, that we were not able to sustain the quality of our resources. We were not able to sustain kung ano nga ba yung nadatman natin dito. But first, it is imperative for us as we go along our lesson to define first what is sustainability and let's have a contrast from sustainability and stability. So now, if we define stability, it is, it is the condition of being stable or in equilibrium, and thus, this is resistant to change. Hindi daw nagbabago, mga kapatid. Ano? And it has been said as well that it is the tendency to recover from perturbations. Okay, so we will start our discussion there. As we define per per perturbation, so perturbations definitely it means a deviation or yung pag ano no hindi niya pagsunod sa sistema na kung saan no nagkakaroon daw ng ng irregularidad no pagdating halimbawa sa mga bagay-bagay. So when you say stability, no stable that is constant no they are in equilibrium hindi daw nagbabago. At kung sa kalimat no na medyo lumilis na nanda stability would actually ano no would actually let you recover from that irregularity however if we will be defi defining sustainability this is your ability to sustain something no meron kang bagay na ito no pag sinabi mo sustainability kaya mo ba siya mapangatawanan kaya bang kaya ng bagay ba yan na na ma-enjoy from one generation into another generation or say for example kaya kaya ba niyan tumagal ng mga ilang araw ilang buwan at ilang taon so definitely that is your sustainability okay so as we discuss sustainable development so we go ahead and define it so sustainable development provides a mechanism through which society can interact with with uh, with the environment 
no? while not risking damaging the resource for the future. It's simply because if we are talking about development, as we, as we hear the word development, no? lagi natin naiisip na there is some compromise that will happen. No, na kung saan ang iniisip natin pag development, no, pag sabihin mo pangalan na gagawa ka ng napakaraming building, ano bang iniisip natin? Maraming puno ang mapuputol. No, may lugar ka na ano, no, may lugar ka na babaguhin. Meron ka mga ma, meron ka mga halaman na maapektuhan. And when we say sustainable development, definitely ang gusto niya mangyari while you are developing, no, it would want to ano, no, it would want to sustain the things that we have as of the moment. So that we will not be able to damage the resources that we will uh, that we must have in the future, okay? And also, sustainable development is an effort guaranteeing a balance among economic growth, environmental integrity, and even your social being. Okay. So as we said, the ano, the last statement, we have pillars of what we call a sustainable development. Okay. So the first pillar would actually be your economic sustainability. Right. So when you say economic sustainability, this is a system of production that satisfies present consumption levels without compromising future needs. Okay. So if you will be, uh, if we will go back to economy, if we're talking about the economy, uh, ang pinag-usapan natin jan ay yung production, distribution, and even the consumption of your products. Now, if you're talking about economic sustainability, kailangan yung process daw ng economy ay mas sustain. No, there should always be a processing of the products. Okay, there should be a uh, sustainable distribution of products and even the consumption, in which we will not compromise. Kung ano yung meron tayo in the future, kasi baka mamaya, ngayon lang tayo nag enjoy ng mga bagay na ina enjoy natin. Pagdating ng future, we won't be able to enjoy it anymore. So we will have a problem with that, of course. So if we're talking about economic sustainability, we must be able to sustain our consumption levels, the, the processes of, of our economy no, without compromising our future needs. Okay? So the second pillar would be your social sustainability. So when you say social sustainability, these are your notions of equity, empowerment, access, accessibility, participation, cultural identity, and institutional stability. So if we're talking about social sustainability, it doesn't mean na kailangan daw agad-agad mamit natin yung ends. No? Kung ano nga ba yung needs natin. No? Kung ano nga ba yung need ng ating mga mamamayan or need ng mga tao. No? Hindi, daw da, hindi, ito tungkol, hindi ito tungkol sa kay, kailangan niya halimbawa ng pagkain. Definitely, kaya mayroon siya pagkain kagad. Hindi. No, what it would want to do is to actually give us the capacity so that we will be able to realize our needs. No, hindi niya ibibigay agad-agad ko ano yung kailangan natin. Rather, it would give us the capacity to do it. No, na tayo mismo yung kukuha, makakakuha, makakagawa ng paraan so that we will be able to attain what is our need. All right. So let me go ahead and continue with the last pillar, and that is your environmental sustainability. So when you say environmental sustainability, it is about the natural environment and how it remains productive and resilient to support human life. No, needlessly to say, definitely if we're talking about environmental sustainability, dito tayo kumukuha ng ating resources. No, dito tayo kumukuha ng mga bagay na ating kinaenjoyan. Alimbawa, no, yung ating pagkain. No, ano pa? Definitely ang, ang mga bagay na meron tayo ngayon ay yung ating kagubatan, no, yung rivers natin, no, in which it will also support us in our ano no, in our needs, lalong-lalo sa tubig, di ba? So definitely that is your environmental sustainability and those three, the economic sustainability, social sustainability and environmental sustainability are your pillars for your sustainable development. All right. So you might ask, so what are the actions that are being taken as of the moment ano, by, uh, by the world in, or, in order for us to attain sustainability. So as of the moment, the United Nations, no, definitely, they are doing the following. So first is poverty eradication. As we all know, pag sinasabi natin talagang kahirapan, sobra tayo, ano, no, sobra tayong worried about this. No, kasi pag, ang, pag, pag pinag-usapan natin ng kahirapan, automatic, no, it, will, it, it will mean a lot of things. Maaaring hindi natin ma-enjoy yung ating mga, mga kinakain. No? Maaaring hindi tayo makapag-produce ng dapat ating i-produce. At maaaring hindi natin, ano, no, hindi natin ma-enjoy ang buhay at all. Okay? Second, no, they, are also, ano, no, they are also aiming 
to have a zero hunger. Ibig sabihin wala dapat to nagugutom. They are doing their best, no? They are doing their they, they are doing their their uh, they are using their capability so that they will be able to to reach the zero hunger. Okay? So, uh, third, we also have the good health and well-being program. Fourth would be your quality education for all because as we all know, no, kahit nga sa atin, pag sinabi natin, ano, no, pag sinabi, na, sinabi natin nakapagtapos ang iisip natin kaagad, we will be able to, ano, no, we will be able to create wise decisions. And with that wise decisions, definitely, no, mababawasan yung ating kahirapan. And another, uh, another action is actually having a clean water and sanitation. As we all know, wala naman taong nabubuhay ng walang tubig, hindi ba? So, syempre, in order for us to ano, no, in order for us to survive, we must be uh, we must hydrate ourselves, no? And without this clean water and sanitation, definitely magkakaroon tayo ng problema diyan. That's why the United Nations are doing its best, no? They are doing their best so that uh, we will be able to have this clean water. Okay? Decent work and economic growth would also mean na ano, no, mas mapapabuti natin yung ating welfare and there are there are programs na meron ito. Eighth would actually be your affordable and clean energy. No, as we all know, no, marami naman pagkukuha ng talaga ng enerhiya. No, it is ano no, definitely marami kang mga bagay, no, na pwedeng gamitin, tubig, no, uh, even your charcoal. Pero may mga bagay kasi, no, na kailangan nating isaalang-alang. Hindi pwedeng ano no, hindi pwedeng uh, marumi ang pinagkukuha natin ng enerhiya kasi baka mamaya no, it is true na nagkakaroon tayo ng development but it is not sustainable. No, pag if it's not sustainable, yung future generations din natin, no, yung magiging anak mo, to uh, apo mo and so on and so forth they won't be able to enjoy what you were able to enjoy. Okay. Here are some of the other actions being taken. So, industry innovation and infrastructure, it keeps on going. No? Kaya nga yung, uh, yun sa atin, ano, halimbawa yung mga inhinyero, definitely they are doing their best so that, they will, that there would be innovation in, ter in terms of the industries that we have and even in infrastructure. Inequality reduction would also be ano no will also be part of this so that uh, wala wala talaga pinipili all of us will be empowered regardless of your race your age and your sex sustainable cities and communities would also be part responsible production and consumption so that in the future no kung ano yung kailangan lang natin yun yung ipo-produce at saka yung ating iko-consume no climate action would also be imperative for us so that hindi tayo magkaroon ng problema no most especially sa ating kapeligiran kagaya ng sinabi kanina no uh, alam natin na nagkakaroon ng global warming no uh, talagang na, na, yung mga researches and studies would tell you na mas mainit na ang ating mundo compared noong unang panahon and that is why it is imperative for us no na magkaroon tayo ng climate action then so life below the water no would also be part of it life on the land no that's part peace justice and strong institutions to make sure no na mayroon tayo ano no mayroon uh, lahat tayo may empower na wala nakakalamang no and definitely yung ating welfare ay na ano no na secure and last would actually be your partnership for the goals because hindi ito kakayanin no ng isang tao lang or ng isang bansa this would be a collective responsibility among the citizens of different countries mga kapatid okay and how you you might ask me no how will you be able to ano no to contribute to sustainability no so here are the some simple steps that you may use ano, and you may consider so that makatulong tayo para sa ating mundo na magkaroon ng sustainable development no eto yung reduction of carbon footprint so that hindi tayo maka-contribute sa global warming ano marami na mga produkto na gumagamit ng ano no ng reduced carbon footprint or ano no uh, definitely wala talagang carbon at all no that's one buy and consume only what is needed no syempre kasi syempre uh, kapag kapag nagkukonsumo tayo nagkukonsumo na hindi naman natin kailangan definitely it will mean you problem no bakit problem simply because no baka mamaya hindi na ma-enjoy ng iba yung yung ima produkto <clears throat> Excuse me organize and support tree planting projects so that we will be able to sustain no <clears throat> Excuse me your your resources kagaya halimbawa ng pagkain no kagaya halimbawa ng ng uh, yung mga trahedya maiiwasan natin kagaya ng landslide and so on and so forth ano and of course the reduce of the use of plastic okay patronize goods and services that are sustainably produced promote environment uh, environment friendly practices and mitigate climate change in order for us syempre no na mahikayat natin ang isa, isa kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina no your ano no your global the global warming would actually be a collective responsibility 
no hindi ito kakayanin ng ilang lamang tao kahit, kahit ilang bansa no it will be collective responsibility ng lahat sa atin all over the world no of course if you can do no or if if you have time no you may petition to your local leaders to adopt environment friendly measures in your locality most especially in barangay no you were able to you were able to attend uh, some of the seminars no with with regards to the barangay and we know no that barangay would actually be yung pinakamalapit na government unit no you may actually ask your barangay captain if you would want no that uh, magkaroon naman tayo ng environmentally uh, no, no pre- environmental friendly measures so that we will be able to ano to sustain our development syempre share your ideas as we all know no kayo mga naka- na- privilege na makapag-aral No, you have your uh, different ideas. At paulit ulit ko sabihin sa inyo, you are empowered simply because you have the knowledge. No, If you have the knowledge, all you have to do is to share it to the world. No, I-share nyo na baka maya-maya meron kayong magandang naisip towards sustainable development. Okay, ayan. So, of course, we share one world. Always think of that. Kasi pag iniisip natin na hiwahiwalay tayo ng mundo, magkakaroon tayo ng problema dyan mga kapatid. No? And syempre, we must have to change our perspective on things na meron kinalaman sa ating environment so that we'll be able to be successful. And lastly, we must be able to act because all of this will actually not be possible if we will not choose to act as of the moment. Okay? And this is the reason why you are being empowered so that you will be able to leave that mark no? na maganda ang iiwanan natin mundo pagdating ng mga henerasyon na paparating. And with that being said, Let me now ask every one of you, no? What can you do to solve problems concerning sustainability that you yourself have created, no? From the problems that we were able to discuss, alam ko, no, na at some point in one way or another, no, nag-contribute tayo sa problema na ito. So ang katanungan ko sa inyo mga kapatid, ano kaya ang magagawa natin no to solve these problems na tayo rin yung gumawa in order for us to have a sustainable environment. So I would I'm expecting that everyone would actually be leaving a comment in our comment section so that I will be able to read you know, what are your answers to these questions. And with that being said, mga kapatid, let me grab the opportunity to thank everyone for, for attending our session and for watching this session. And I hope that we, uh, I will also see you again on our succeeding ones. So once again, thank you very much, everyone, and I'll see you on our succeeding sessions.